Hello there, fellow Tano, and welcome back to Warframe. My name is Orson Bear. So today we're gonna be talking about how to farm the anomaly shards efficiently in this video. It's way easier than you think. They are used to buy the exotic goods from Little Duck, and you will need a total of 65 anomaly shards to buy all of these. One anomaly shard will be rewarded for killing 20 sentients aboard a murex, which will periodically spawn in these four grenier controlled mission nodes in the Vale Proxima, indicated by this red flashing sentient symbol. However, the murex will never spawn in a void storm mission. Let's say if the flashing symbol appears here, you need to choose the regular one instead of the void storm variant. Of course, the murex will never spawn here because this is a corpus controlled mission node. When you start such a mission, you will see a huge structure in the far distance. That's where you need to go, the murex. As you can see, I've already bought everything Little Duck has to offer. You might think that I've completed the real Jack mission 65 times, destroyed all the fighters, cruise ships, completed all the mission objectives, and the murex of course. It's gonna take forever, but that's actually not the case. Which is also the reason why I'm making this video, because it takes only 3 hours of farming to buy all of these. First off, the anomaly shards are affected by resource boosters. Like in this screenshot, I've obtained 2 shards while the resource booster is still active. This cuts the farming in half. Secondly, there is a major difference between real jack and regular missions. That is, you will be able to keep some of the loot like the anomaly shards, even if you fail the mission. This means you can ignore all the fighters, cruise ships, mission objectives, just go straight to the murex. If your character is geared up enough, it takes less than 5 minutes to finish the murex. That's why I said it takes about 3 hours to get all 65 shards you need. Now, after you've cleared the murex, go straight back to your dojo. Don't worry if the anomaly shard doesn't show up in the end of mission screen because it goes directly into your inventory. As far as I know, this method not only works on the anomaly shards, but also wreckages. I have no idea whether this is intentional or a bug, but it has been like this for several months already. Use it while it's still here. Some of you might notice that I have my protovair set fully maxed out. It looks absolutely gorgeous. When you buy the armor piece from the market, this is the one you get. You need to kill 90 sentients to unlock the Protovair Emergent Chest Armor. After that, you need to kill an additional 375 sentients to unlock the Apex one. Guess how I did it? That's right, by farming the Anomaly Shards. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think you can farm shadow parts as well using this method because how else could it have this many? Shadow parts are dropped by symbolists, which are abundant in the murex. What I'm saying is that you can get multiple things done by doing this one farm. So basically, there are two requirements for you to do this farm efficiently. The first one is that you need to be strong enough to deal with the sentience in the murex. They're above level 80 after all. And the second one is to have a resource booster, which you can get just by logging in. So when you are strong enough, whenever you get a resource booster, just give it a few tries. Eventually, you will be able to buy everything. Alright, that's pretty much everything for this video. I hope it's informative, and I'll see you next time.